of the Sushumna Nadi is the one where uh, one would say is the equator, is not, is not equator, but is the axis of the Mother Earth. The axis of the Mother Earth is the Sushumna and that has to act. And when it comes to that axis, uh, it, it is the one that balances. Actually, there is, there is, uh, there is nothing like a big pole inside the Mother Earth, which we can call it as an axis. There's uh, nothing that is material inside the Mother Earth that we can call it as an axis, but it's the energy force which acts in such a manner that the earth moves with such tremendous speed, when the cosmos is all spread out so much, it uh, not only moves but it creates day and night for us so that daytime we can work and nighttime we can sleep to give us a balance. Only also it moves in such a manner round the sun that uh, half of the countries get the sun during the summer time and half of them get it during the winter time. That's the axis that acts and works out everything. Apart from that, this axis keeps all the distances uh, necessary from other planets and other moving bodies in the cosmos. This axis is the intelligence of the Mother Earth. It is not only the intelligence, but it is the fragrance and apart from it is the Sushumna Nadi, we can say, of the Mother Earth. Now, sh through this axis only, all these swamboos and all these uh, great happenings of earthquakes and all that takes place. So this axis is the one which moves. It's an energy. We can call it axis as the energy moves. Uh, the lava into different directions and pierces through different areas to create earthquakes and also to have Jwalamukhi laka English for that? Volcanoes. Volcanoes. And all these things happen because the axis has sense what is to be. This axis is the one that loves us. Because of this axis, uh, we, we have seasons. The seasons are created beautifully to give us different, different uh, varieties of food and varieties of uh, things. The heat of the Mother Earth, if it is lost, then we'll have nothing on this earth. It'll be all frozen and there will be all uh, snow and we'll have no food, nothing, and it will be like moon living here. Now it is being specially created. First, the Mother Earth, when it was created through the heat of the sun. So we can say that the sun is the father of the Mother Earth. Then she was brought very close to the moon. So it cooled down, absolutely it cooled down, it was all snow. Then it was brought closer to the sun and moved at a point where life could start working. And that's how the whole thing was organized beautifully to make life grow in that area. Now when the life started growing, gradually uh, we know that how the carbon was formed. Now the carbon is formed by the same axis because there's heat in the axis, the energy of heat that converts uh, the, the plants into carbon. Now this carbon is later on forms the basis for, uh, uh, we can say, for the production of carbohydrates, you can say, or all organic matter. But to create life, we had to have another help is the nitrogen. And this nitrogen was also, you'd be surprised to know, that was created by the same axis, by its movement. 
And when it created this nitrogen, the nitrogen gave us the amino acids. And when the amino acids were created within us, then we started uh, our lives from amoeba and all that. Of course, this was done in the ocean because in the ocean with the movement, nitrogen was created and life was created and then through the ocean it's emitted out and that's how we have amino acids. With the amino acids, the formation of amino acids gave us the combinations and permutations, different lives. So in the whole evolutionary process, the Mother Earth has played a very big part through her axis. In the same way, in human beings, the axis is the most important part. That's the main principle of life we have got is our axis. We have to stand on our axis. Those who do not stand on their axis stand more towards the left or towards the life, are capable of complete uh, destruction because either they will be destroyed by too much of right side or too much of left side. So our axis has to be properly dealt with. Now those people who do not have a proper axis can have problems of different chakras, of uh, different kind of quality in a person. A person who stretches his axis too much, puts back his head like this, is a person who is very right-sided and creates problem with his ego. And the one who absolutely bends down like a slavish person also is a person who goes towards his destructiveness.